place of miracles. Aaron, who could not be here, crawling all his life, born lost hope, never to walk again in his life. Yaka provided an opportunity for a man who could not walk. Talk of the Bible and miracles. Now walking, going back to Yaka, see his mom for a mother bathing a child. 13 years growing on the ground. And now he's going to meet a son walking. If you don't think there are miracles, go to Nyaka. But Nyaka has not, not stopped at uh, uh, things we, I go and speak. It has gone in the Years of uh, the first children, that's Chesia Clinton, that's uh, uh, athletes from Jamaica, that's uh, Paul Farmer. For the young people, they are going to see that rapper, I don't even remember his name, um, being told time is running out. Paul Farmer, who has gone in Haiti and eradicated TB and HIV AIDS. People who we didn't think could be attracted to this organization from a tiny village where UNICEF and Save the Children do not appear. Yeah, has gone there and we provide it for. People ask me what can I do? And I always say, you have a house? Have you ever had it going to tailgate party? Have you had people at your house? Host a group of friends at your house. Tell them about <coughs> Yaka. Tell them about these children. Tell them about, ask us to give you a presentation. Sit down with your people. You've had the joy of seeing what has gone on. You can share it with everybody. You know and you love. As we provide education for 350 children, you take three steps out of Nyaka school, there you go. You still have so many left behind. Work is still going on. When you think on what you can do and how you can move forward, always think of your own children. Think of the grandchild you love, think of the child you care about, and how much you love him. And put Nyaka in the same box of love, and you will be revealed on what you can do. Nobody asks me what I can do for you. When I go to Walmart and I see a toy he likes, those cars, I don't even know the name, but as I'm checking out the car, those cars with the yellow thing, I buy that car for him. We don't have to ask him to make a contribution. Just think of the loved ones you love. And as Christmas approaches, think about the children. I thank you, and you can ask me any questions you have about Nyaka, about Uganda, about Africa, about your visiting. Please ask questions. I thank you very, very much for coming tonight. And as always, we are blessed and honored to be involved in this one. Before we do question and answer, Switchy, I do want to ask those of you, everybody who, who made a bid, we have to do this. When we get done, see if you won, and if you did, then what you would need to do would be to uh, take care of that at the table. With that said, and the young women are putting the bidding back out here, ask Jackson anything you want. Jackson, at Christmas time in America, especially, People watch a movie called A Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart, in which the main character wonders whether his life made a difference. In reading a chapter in your book that the eight-year-old boy who was used and fell out of the tree, and your family carried you a long way to the hospital, your grandmother followed in the procession you describe in the book. She was reading and to read songs from one end to the other until 
you were about. It's a very moving chapter in your story. And when I think about a wonderful life, I think, well, would Nayaka exist if the little boy who was you that fell out of the tree and had his leg spiked had happened? And as I thought about it, I wanted to ask you this question. If you would have survived that, but many people don't know it, your brother had him passed away and you were so moved wouldn't I have to be here? Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the little boy who fell out of the tree was me. Uh, the little boy who lost his brother to HIV AIDS was me. Um, Nyaka, uh, God gave me a second chance. I, I was to die. Up today I have a big leg and a small leg. When I play soccer, even my soccer people don't notice it. I can't even kick the soccer ball with the left leg. I have to put it on the right leg to kick it in the ball. Now I've given you my soccer secret. <laughs> I hope you won't be on the opposition team. Uh, I don't know whether it would have happened. Uh, we go through things. Uh, each life experience teaches a lesson. Uh, the lesson out of that was, for me, coming out of that near death was, what can I do? Wow, how my grandmother faced. That forced me to crown sons from the first chapter, the last chapter. And today, you want me to quote you any Psalms? Ask me. <laughs> and when I wrote the book, Psalms followed in through so well. The faith my grandmother had, the faith my mother has, the faith that was entrenched in me, I want to say, even without those things happening, Yaka would still happen, because this is God's design. This is God's work. This is not Jackson's work. This is God's work. So I think it would still happen. God would have impressed someone else to do this work. But being there and giving my testimony has really helped more than ever. I rambled. Any other easier question? <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Yes, ma'am. Is there another school in Ayaka besides the, this one? Is there a government school? There are few government schools around, around the area. Uh, the government of Uganda a few years ago adopted this talk of free education, universal education. And once they said that, they said we provide free education to four children in every family. Those four children in every family, the family was defined as a wife and a husband. So orphans are not a family. Besides that, once they announced it, they didn't improve the infrastructure. So in other schools, for people who have visited, you can ask them, you have 90 students per teacher depleting buildings and no education. We keep Nyaka at 30 students, leaving out so many students who could be coming in, but making sure the ones we have get quality education. On top of education, they get counseling from teachers. So yes, there are other schools, but there are schools that have that 20% rate passing and overcrowded and still leaving out so many children. So even what we are doing is just a drop in the ocean.